Hey guys and welcome back if you were watching my first video. So on this one what we're going to do is we're going to start creating the index page. Now on this page we're just going to have a simple HTML form with a title. Now the only thing on this that's PHP real, um, related is underneath it when we add a new record to the actual form then it will go through the process of inserting it into the database that we created in part one and then after that's done it will reload back to the index page and you should be able to see the, um, the information that you just put in. So we're going to start with just some basic HTML tags. So always start with doc type and then just capital HTML. Now that just tells the page or the browser that this is HTML5. And then just continue to create your uh, HTML tags. Now you can create any sort of tag you want, whether you want to do the titles or anything at all but to, to sort of quicken things up a bit I'm going to pause the video and create the um, the rest of the tags that we're going to be using so as you can see here I just have basic HTML tags so on line one we have the doc type then we have the HTML tag that closes at the bottom then we have the header tag now inside the header tag we have the title so this is um, what actually displays on the website. Um, if we go to google.co.uk, this part here, this is the title. So this will be displayed. Oh, PDO. Now I always put just php session under slash start and then close php now I do that as common practice as I sometimes use session variables or anything like that to actually store someone's activity on a website so I do that so that no matter what um, I'll actually have the session on each page so just to start, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save the page. Now, I'm going to save it in C, and then I have my XAMPP folder here. If you've not installed XAMPP, I suggest you do it now. Um, I also have a video on my page of how to install one of the versions. Um, so you can just follow that and, uh, and then you can install it. So just go into here and then htdocs now I have a folder here for PDO so what I'm going to do is go to all types and we're going to save this as index.php so now what we're going to do is we're going to create just a simple HTML form what you can do though if you're going to run scripts or anything like that then you can do this in the head so you can have just a normal script for javascript or jQuery if you're going to have it on your website but for now all I'm going to do is just style type is equal to and then text CSS and close the style so I can put CSS in here and it will work on this page now it's better to have an actual style sheet and then just reference that on every page so that if you want to um, change one thing then you don't have to go through every page but since this is the only page that's actually going to have um, style on it then we'll just keep it like that so inside the body tags what we're going to do is just create a header to tag and inside header 2 we're just going to put um, 
and set form. Now we're going to start coding the form. So we just open the form tag and the method we're using is post because we're posting information to the, um, the database. So we just keep it as that. Now name, we can have it whatever we want. I'll just put it as waveform. Now what we need to do is action. So when we submit this form, it will go through this action. So we're going to do insert process.php and then close the form tag before we code anything else. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out what sort of input boxes and stuff we need and buttons. So for the first one, we're going to just have an input and then type is equal to text because it's a text box. Name is user ID and always keep it the same as what you've named these. It just makes it so much easier. So name is that and ID is also user ID. But this time, since up here we've declared HTML5, we're going to use hidden. So just the word hidden. And then this forward slash at the end just tells the browser that this specific bit of code doesn't have any closing tags. So as you can see here, form, and then you close form, but input doesn't have a closing one. It just has one line. So we'll just keep that as hidden and we'll move on to the next line. So we're going to use a label. So label for equals and then banner ID. Now what this does is when we type in here banner ID and then close the label tag, then we are basically just setting a label for uh, the input box that we're going to use for the uh, banner ID. So first we're going to put another input and then we're going to call this um, banner ID as well. So type equals text, name equals banner ID, and type equals, oh sorry, ID equals banner ID. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to put a placeholder. So what a placeholder does is when we look at websites or something that has a text box, you'll sometimes see sort of greyed out text in the middle and then when you click on the text box it disappears. That's just what this is. So in here we'll just put banner ID and then HTML5 again so just the word required. So this is just HTML5 where it won't let you post the form unless you have something in here. Now we can do max length equals and then 10. So when we looked at here we put in the banner ID has a var car of 10. Now basically what this does is if we set the max length to 10 then the form won't actually let you put in any more uh, information. So we'll just keep that like that and then a break tag so that whatever we put in next goes onto a new form or a new line. So again label for and this time we're going to do the full name. So full name with a capital N. So what we're going to do now is once we close this label tag we're going to do the exact same as we did for 
the one above. So again, we're going to put an input tag and then type text name equals and then again we're putting full name and then id equals full name and then placeholder so i'll just put in my name here just just for the sake of it really and then again required and then since we have this form and we've got to set up for 25 we'll go back to our form and then max length is equal to 25 and then again br forward slash and then just save that just now so when we open up our browser open a new tab and then localhost slash pdo so as you can see we have the insert form header to tag banner id with banner id here and then when we start typing it disappears and then fill name with my name in it so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the age so label for equals age and then in here just the word age so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the input type is equal to text again name is equal to age and id equals to age and then placeholder we'll do 23 and then again we'll do max length and if we look back again we can see that age has an integer of 2 so what we do is we just put number 2 in here and again required so now that we have that another breaking tag we have everything there so far apart from one thing which is the button uh, if I just add another breaking tag so it goes down two lines instead and save. Now we're going to use the HTML5 button. So button type is equal to submit. ID is equal to. Now I'm just going to use BTN capital S submit. And also name equals the same thing. And then we're going to put text on the button. So add a new record. And then close the button tag. So now we have our form. So if we go back here and refresh, we now have banner ID, full name, and age. Now if I take away the word hidden and save, then when I refresh, you'll see this actually has things here. So this is the user ID um, form. But we don't actually need to see that. We can just hide that by using the word hidden. So we have this now. And the form is basically ready to go. So if we refresh. Now all I have to do after this is we're going to start on the insert process which we have here because when we click this button here if you look in the address bar oh I'll put in a banner ID so double B zero zero one two three four five six and then nine nine well we can't do that so six seven eight nine ten so ten characters full name mark forms and age 23. now when i click this button if you look in the address bar insert process so we have to start coding that um which we'll do in the next one so 
hopefully you can come back for part three where we'll start the insert process and maybe even another one on the same tutorial. Thanks for watching.